Welcome back. Week 5 previews and analysis. The next game up here is an NFC South matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. This game will take place in New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans certainly starting this season in very disappointing fashion, sitting at 1-3, and three, and Tampa Bay sitting at 1-3 and three as well after a, just a bizarre um, you know, pull-it-out kind of win last week uh, versus Pittsburgh at Pittsburgh to get them in the win column. And for the Saints, you know, they've really been the, one of the stories early on in the NFL this season, and not for all the right reasons, of course. This is a team that had Super Bowl aspirations, a team that lasts, and I still think they do. I don't think they're by any means out of it yet. I want to be clear on that. But a team that I was thought last week, um, like they've done under Sean Payton against Dallas, they would go in there and take care of business um, at Dallas. Uh, they obviously did not in a very poor performance. And if you really start to dissect what's going wrong with the Saints, they're minus five in, in giveaway-takeaway ratio. And another big thing is their past defense has been very bad. And they haven't been able to get after the quarterback like they did last year. Um, I think the turnovers are something that's very curable. All right. And I think also this is a team that from a pass rush perspective has the talent. And it's just a matter of time before they kick it into gear. So I think the things that are troubling them all right, are fixable. Because when you look at the rush offense, it's over five yards of carry. The passing game, obviously, as you would expect with the Drew Brees, Sean Payton combo, is in the top 10 as well in the league. So it's the little things that are killing the Saints right now. And you know the, they emphasize that in practice, probably like they did last week too, to be fair. All right, I think you're going to see this week, is this a team that um, is going to just get into a big rut they're not going to be able to get out of? Or is this a team that was just in a funk the first quarter and now they're going to take off? I think a home game against a team like Tampa, a team that struggled the first quarter of the season, some might say they got lucky last week with their win in Pittsburgh, but who cares how they won? They got on the board. And, you know, for, for the Saints, again, they're susceptible to the pass and they're susceptible to turnovers. Can Tampa drum up some turnovers off of Drew Brees? Can Lovey Smith um, get exotic with some of his looks up in the front seven to maybe confuse Brees? Um, also, when you look at the Tampa as well, can Mike Glennon uh, get the ball down the field to the likes of Vincent Jackson, Austin Safarian Jenkins? Mike Evans will miss this game with an injury, so they'll lose him from that standpoint. Um, Doug Martin came back last week, didn't play great. Can they get any running game going? And most importantly is that offensive line for Tampa. Not a great group playing on the road against an extremely desperate team in New Orleans looking to get back on track. The play of that Tampa offensive line, the communication of Mike Lennon to that offensive line with different calls, different protection calls, big in this game because of how loud the Superdome is going to be. Again, how desperate that Saints defense is going to be to get a win here, particularly at home, I think is something to watch. And I said last week, I don't think there's really any difference between Mike Lennon and Josh McCown at the quarterback position. Um, certainly McCown proved more than capable last week leading that team to a win on the road, as I said before, in Pittsburgh. Um, in this one, I think the Saints are going to come out, and I have not lost hope in the Saints yet. All right, I know some people might think I'm still crazy uh, for talenting them as much as I am, but I think they cure the turnovers long term, and I think they get after the quarterback long term. And I like uh, New Orleans in this one, minus the 10. I know it's a lot of points to lay, but I like New Orleans minus the 10. Let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. Be sure to subscribe. I preview every game every week. Always talking the news of the day in the NFL. Um, so your, subscribe, your, your subscribers are the best. Uh, keep the comments coming. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.